Digital Image Correlation, or DIC, is an optical technique that compares images of a test specimen's surface to generate full field strain and displacement maps. In other words, users can visualize strain and displacement over the full two-dimensional surface of the test specimen. This powerful capability unlocks the true story of the material behavior and allows materials testing professionals to analyze a number of advanced strain characteristics after the test is complete. In order to perform DIC on a materials testing specimen, it must be marked with a random pattern of contrasting marks. Traditionally, specimens are marked by creating a speckle pattern using spray paint or by flicking a toothbrush loaded with ink or paint. Stamps can also be used to both quickly and easily mark the specimen with a random pattern. Once the specimen is prepared, it can be loaded into the test frame as it would be for any other test. The test frame must be equipped with an Instron Advanced Video Extensometer in order to collect images for correlation. Once the test is complete, the DIC Replay software may be opened from within the Blue Hill screen. When DIC Replay launches, the previously tested specimen appears on the screen. By moving to the Strain slash Displacement tab, a specific region of interest may be selected using various tools from the software. In this case, a simple rectangle works well. Clicking the Start button begins the Digital Image Correlation Replay, where each image of the test is compared to the previous image in order to determine the displacement of the specimen's surface. Various settings can be changed both during and after the replay in order to best visualize the behavior of the material. Here, we see an axial strain map as a function of time. The DIC replay data is saved for the selected region of interest and can subsequently be used to apply virtual extensometers and strain gauges, which have customizable dimensions for analyzing a wide variety of tests and materials. Measurements recorded in Blue Hill, such as load and crosshead extension, are automatically imported into the DIC replay software so that they may be used in conjunction with the strain data captured from the virtual gauges. Multiple plots can be created and output into a CSV file format for further analysis.